On the evening of Thursday, August 22, 2024, a building collapsed on North 3rd Street in Reading. This is the building's complete history. In 1890, a deed transfer occurred for this property to a Keystone Wagon Company. That deed indicated it was a lot, so we know that the original sections of this building were constructed shortly after. The company was owned by a man named James A. Clays, who had grown up learning the trade from his father in Schuylkill County. In 1886, he sold the business he started there and came to Reading, erecting this plant for $11,000. On October 21st, 1896, the Reading Times reported that a foreman of the repair department had his head crushed under a wagon. John Cromwell was repairing a dumping wagon, which was suspended in midair by a strong chain. While standing underneath the wagon, Cromwell loosened the bolt and the body came crashing down on the frame and him, resulting in instant death. In 1906, the Times reported that a carriage built for President Theodore Roosevelt had just shipped out of the Keystone Wagon Works. Wagon business waned in the 20th century as new motor car automobiles were invented and increasingly manufactured. Like many wagon manufacturers at the time, Keystone saw this transition as an opportunity to jump onto the motor car bandwagon. In 1907, the Reading Eagle announced the Keystone Wagon Company had began manufacturing auto bodies. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to keep the business afloat and the company declared bankruptcy that November. In 1910, a fire broke out at the plant in what the article described as the eaves of a three and a one half story building along the Lebanon Valley Railroad. The article went on to say that little damage was done to the building, but the loss to milled out wagons was quite heavy. Perhaps just a coincidence, that is the area that collapsed. Keystone continued manufacturing wagons and automobile bodies until they merged with Daniels Motor Car Company, a Philadelphia-based company, in 1920. Daniels Motor Car Company utilized the North 3rd Street property briefly before selling it in 1924. In the 1920s through the 1950s, the building was occupied by the Reading Clothing Manufacturing Company. They went bankrupt in 1954 due to unpaid obligations, and 1,200 people lost their jobs at the plant. In 1984, the MJ Earl Paper Company leased part of the building for manufacturing of their different paper products. After the owner of MJ Earl died in 2013, the business moved and the structure was sold to a Bowen Construction and Real Estate Company. The building has not been occupied since this ownership transition. In 2017, Bowen Construction sold the building to a 500 North 3rd Street LLC for $110,000. This Pennsylvania-based LLC was filed by a Peter Gustus in December of 2016. In October 2017, a Facebook page bearing the LLC's name was created. On March 31, 2018, a YouTube video by the owner was posted under an all-organic medical marijuana YouTube channel, giving an elevator pitch for turning the property into a medical marijuana grow facility. Gustus was present at a May 2022 determination hearing for the building to be added to the city's blighted property list. Gustus explained that electric had been turned off for the property and that he was denied a permit to turn it back on, which had thwarted his efforts to repair the building. When the board inquired about his intended use for the property, Gustus stated that he originally was focused on a medical marijuana grow facility, but was currently considering a business resource center. Gustus added that during his application for a bank loan for the property, the fire marshal called the bank and suggested the denial of his application. He stated that he needed to obtain financing to make the required roof and brick repairs, which had been delayed due to the interference by the fire marshal. One of the committee members stated that if the electrical inspector denied his permit, the denial was probably based around the plan for the electric work, and he asked Gustus to consider seeking assistance from another electrician. The committee moved to add the building to the blighted properties list. On September 28, 2023, another video about the property was posted on YouTube by Gustus in which he announced plans for the building to be turned into affordable senior citizen housing. The video also states that the project would cost around $30 million. No improvements were ever made. 
It is also worth noting that there is a daycare play yard within feet of the northern section of this building. Hopefully this gets taken down before something catastrophic happens.